Hello, grade nine math class. Welcome back to another lecture. We have lesson three here, uh, squares of numbers one to 20. I'm not going to do all the examples of all the squares for numbers one to 20, but through this lesson and through the practice here, I want you to be comfortable with doing these fairly quickly. So if I do them fairly quickly, uh, forgive me, that's going to be what's expected of you. All right, let's square these numbers. First one we have, is three. So when we're talking about squaring, that's this little symbol here. So three squared, three to the power of two, and what that represents is three times three. So if I'm squaring a number, or you see three to the power of two, or anything to the power of two, you're gonna multiply that number by itself. Uh, three times three is nine. Should be familiar with that. Uh, we're gonna square the number six. So I write six squared, that's the little two, which is six times six. Six times six is 36. Uh, what's our next one? We have eight. Eight squared. Eight squared is eight times eight, which is 64. Uh, so just become familiar with all of these numbers up to 20. 4 times 4 is 16, 5 times 5 is 25, we got 7 times 7 being 49, 9 times 9 being 81, and so on and so on. Uh, let's do two more. I guess you can consider them a little bit trickier. So if I've got 14 squared, that's 14 times 14. And if you don't immediately right now know what it is, that's okay. Uh, you're going to become more familiar with it um, and probably remember it over time. But for now, you can do your we can do our multiplication like we learned in the last uh, unit. So 14, top of 14. 4 times 4 is 16. So I've got my 6 and my little 1 because I'm going to add that. That's the 16. And 4 times 1 is 4. I'm gonna add a zero because I'm moving over. One times four is four, one times one is one, and I'm gonna go ahead and add all of these. Six plus zero is six. Four plus four plus one is nine. One is 196, so 14 times 14 is 196. You're gonna to learn to recognize this number as well, uh, as we are going to do the opposite, uh, I think, in the next lesson. Regardless, let's do the next uh, problem. I'm going to try to fit it right here. Uh, 18 squared is 18 times 18. You can put them on top of each other. I encourage you to pause the video and go ahead and give that a go if you're not sure right away what 18 times 18 is. Do the method that we just did right here, except do 18 times 18. Um, but 18 times 18 is 324. You're gonna become, again, familiar with that number. So all these numbers up to 20, um, multiply by themselves should be quick for you as we move forward. Uh, thank you so much for watching everyone. I'll see you soon.